Today, I want to give a quick update on my graphene production. It worked really well. I had a bottle like this in the Sonicator, and I did it in half hour bursts for about three hours total using a mixture of uh, 500 milliliters where it was three quarters acetone and one quarter water. And then I had 37 and a half grams of flake graphite in the bottom. And I got a wonderful mixture. It had a little bit of leftover and had uh, a wonderful black uh, liquid where the gra graphene was in suspension. Great result. So then I needed to separate out the graphene from this black liquid. I, uh, so I poured it off, and I poured it off through a coffee filter. Now, in retrospect, I don't recommend that, that uh, way of doing it. I did get a fair amount of powder in the coffee filter. It did work in that sense, but a lot of it went through the coffee filter, and some of the best, finest particles went through the coffee filter. In addition, I lost a fair amount of powder because it stuck to the paper of the powder and dried there. And so I, I lost some of the, the graphene. And to me, this takes a bit of work to get, and so graphene is pretty precious. Maybe at some point they'll come up with industrial scale uh, processes that make it easy. Right now, it's a fairly precious uh, thing to have. So what I do recommend is that you evaporate your graphene. Put it into something uh, like a glass baking dish and evaporate it. Uh, what you'll find is during the early stages, the acetone evaporates extremely quickly. And it's kind of fun because it does it in a kind of a bubbling motion. And it's kind of fun. I'll have some video uh, attached to this one in just a second. Uh, and then the last part of the evaporation, there's probably just water left, and that takes a little bit longer. But then you get, then you can scrape it off the glass with a razor blade because it will stick to the glass. But you can scrape it right off, and um, then you get your, you're able to save your entire production of graphene powder. The other thing that happens is that when you're done with that, you can just wipe out the pan and it cleans very easily. The uh, if it gets wet again, it cleans very easily. So that's what I recommend. Use uh, dry your graphene, evaporate it on glass. Don't use the coffee filter. It sticks into the coffee filter and you lose some of your production. And you don't get all your powder because some of it goes through the coffee filter. So while I use the coffee filter for producing uh, my carbons, I'm not going to be using it for the graphene. I'm going to stick with evaporation for the graphene. So the rest of this video, I'm going to show you some of the uh, evaporating uh, graphene from the uh, with the mixture and how it bubbles and it's kind of fun. Thank you very much. I hope this is helpful. I forgot to include one thing that I consider very important and that is use good materials. The better materials you use, the better the evaporation technique will work. If you're able to get laboratory grade acetone as opposed to just commercial grade, that will work better because sometimes the normal commercial stuff can leave a little bit of residue. And this is especially important with your water. Don't use tap water. At the very least, use uh, distilled water, which is pretty much the same. But if you can get the deionized water, that's even better. Because the, the bottom line is when you want, it to, you want it to evaporate and you want it to leave nothing behind. Pure water, pure acetone will not leave anything behind. And then the quality of your graphene powder will be the best. Thank you.
here is the pan after sitting all night. Um, it looks like it's kind of stopped evaporating in such a crazy manner. However, I wonder if this surface is causing it a problem. So I'm going to take a metal spatula and I'm going to just scrape off the surface here and put that elsewhere. I, I don't know what that is, but it very well could be graphene. I think it probably is. So I'm going to scrape that off and then let it continue evaporating.